In this Unity tutorial, we want to have a look at rigid bodies and how we can apply gravity. Sorry about my voice, I've got a bit of a cold, so this is only a temporary video for the time being. But what we want to be able to do is actually give our objects some physics. So we want to be able to give it some gravity so things can actually fall from the sky. So to do this, we're going to start a brand new project. And it's just going to be a 2D project. So head up to File and Create New Project. And I'll see you when you're ready to start this project with a blank screen. Now one of the first things we want to do is actually add a game object. So we're going to go up and add a cube to start with. Now with the cube we're just going to use the R for the scaling. We can actually just rescale this out. So if you push the letter R it actually is um, selecting the expansion tool here and you can stretch it around. Um, if you want a W you can then move it around. So the W tool does your positioning. And the other object we need to add is actually something like a sphere. So it's up to you what you want to add to it, but I'll go with the sphere. I'm just going to drag that up. So at the moment when we push play, you'll notice that it's just going to be static objects. But what I want them to do is actually add some gravity to this ball. Now to do that, we actually have to give the ball what's known as a rigid body. So we'll come out of the play mode. I'm just going to make sure the sphere is selected. I'm going to go up to component and I'm going to add physics to it. And I'm going to add a rigid body physics. Now you notice with the rigid body, it's got a mass, it's got a drag, it's got angular drag, and gravity, and that's ticked. So now what we actually have given this ball is a rigid body, which is like having a shell, and therefore it'll actually um, pick up on collisions with other objects. So when I hit play now, the ball drops down. If I go back into my scene, I can drag that up, let it go. I can play with the values. So if I wanted to change the drag, I could change that to say 5. And when I drop it this time, notice it's moving a really slow pace. So you can change it back to 0 to make it as fast as possible. So that's how we can actually change it. If you want to fix some of the constraints, you can actually like say fixed Y. So therefore when I drop it, nothing happens. But when I release Y, the Y axis is allowed to change. So with rigid bodies, we can... Make sure that if we've got a drop type game, we can actually stop any sort of Z movement. Or if we're doing a side scroller, we can actually stop Y movement as well. So collisions um, with round objects can cause angles. So we can actually reduce those angular sort of collisions. And if we want to stop rotation in a 2D game, so in other words, a cube from spinning, then we can lock the, lock the Z axis. So once you've done that, you make some complex objects such as the following example. So this is known as the exploding person. So go have a play with Rigid Body, like and subscribe to the channel and have some fun.